One of the easiest Apple tools to use for a whiteboard on your iPad is Keynote. You can see in this Keynote file, I have a couple pages set up. I have one for math, water cycle, and a blank. All I have to do to access this as a whiteboarding feature is I'm going to select up at the top, the play button. When I hold my finger down, I release. You can see at the bottom now, I have some annotation tools. It's again, very, very simple. You can't really adjust too much other than the color. Even if I hold my finger down on them or click on them twice, no other options come up. So for this example, I can use this particular slide as a whiteboard to solve this problem right here. I'm going to go to the next slide and show a different tool. Another nice tool is this laser pointer. So if it's something that I'm talking about on the screen and I don't necessarily need to annotate, I can also use this laser pointer to go through, in this case, the water cycle. If I'm showing evaporation, it goes up and to condensation and then precipitates down into the lake where it goes to the groundwater flow over to the ocean and back. So if I want to do something like that, I can also use Keynote as that feature. And then finally, of course, we have just a blank document that you can just create new slides. And here we can annotate and use this whiteboard for instruction. So again, this takes very little time to set up. As you can see, as soon as I hit done, these are not saved. If I'd like to save them, I could create, I could take a screenshot and save that and then put that onto a website for students to access if I'd like. I could also do what I'm doing now and screen record this as I'm going through. But if I'm also recording my Zoom session, all that stuff would be saved on there as well. All I need to do to create a new slide is go down here to the bottom and click on blank. And then I can add in what I'd like to prepare for class there. So that's how you use Keynote as a whiteboard app.